When talk about learning, there are three domains in our brains that are involved. These are cognitive domain, affective domain, and psychomotor domain. The three domains are related to the three separate parts of our brain called the triumph brain. So the triumph brain are the earliest brain which controls actions related to the physical activity, safety, and the maintenance of the body, also known as psychomotor domain. The next brain, termed as affective domain, which controls or involves with the experience and the expression of emotion. The latest brain, termed the cognitive domain, which controls the cognitive or thinking. So much of this, I am particularly focused on the cognition. Cognition needs cognitive theory and cognitive knowledge. The cognitive domain that is to do with educational learning and educational knowledge is further explained in Bloom's taxonomy of educational objectives. In the cognitive theory, cognitive knowledge divides into three types, propositional, procedural, and dispositional knowledge. Positional knowledge requires analysis, synthesis, evaluation, comprehension, and application. For example, in the test, multiple choice. The questions need to be analyzed and evaluated and need knowledge before choosing the accurate answers. Propositional knowledge commonly finds in the test or exam such as objectives like true or false questions, essay test or oral examination. Procedural knowledge is involved in practical or workshop exam, product assessment, and practical assignment. Procedural knowledge is under cognitive classification because of the cognitive domain of analysis, knowledge, and evaluation used for checklist and rating scale in the demonstration or observed format. For example, in the workshop or practical exam, the instructor needs to observe how his students perform the task, whether correct or incorrect ways. The instructor used the checklist rating scale and a total record for determining students' dispositional knowledge. In cognitive domain, the skills involved are knowledge, analysis, and evaluation. For example, in questionnaires, long-term observations and interview instructors need to check students answering questions to determine the results. Other forms of using cognitive domains are using the integration of knowledge, that is, using the three classifications of knowledge at the same time. Research project or assignment, simulation of part or whole of the workplace tasks, and on-the-job performance are examples of integration of all three that are propositional, procedural, dispositional knowledge. Why do we need cognitive apprenticeship? Because cognitive apprenticeship helps adults to learn to perform you defined complex and risky tasks. But there are steps involved. Number one, select a particular type of real world task or problematic situation. It should be a major one that learners frequently encounter in the real world. Number two, arrange for modeling. The expert in the field of adult education, that is, someone who knows what, how, when, and why. Number three, provide coaching. Number four, arrange for scaffolding controls by degrees of challenging learning tasks and the learning environment. For example, if we choose learning environment, we should make it likely the learners will succeed in approximately what model with coaching and other assistance provided as need. Help the students pay attention to critical skills and knowledge and also help students to recognize and overcome mentally irregular. That is the buggy thinking. The same as buggy thinking is the mentally irregular. So the features of cognitive apprenticeship, for example, 
Number one, students are taught by knowledgeable, proficient experts who understand what the learners thinking and should go through during the process of acquiring skills. Two, the tasks are in a realistic context. What shown and explained is the real thing. So combining the what, how, when and why. Number three, cognitive apprenticeship is the primary method used to teach people how to perform tasks that contain elements of underlying physical or motor skills, thinking or cognitive skills, problem solving skills or integrative skills, example, driver education, flight training and sports training. In my previous video, uh, video I have talked about uh, cognitive theory and also cognitive knowledge. I will put the link from uh, on the above. So feel free to watch and uh, make a comment down in the comment section below. Finally, thank you thank very much for your participating, watching and listening. Until next time.